My name is Mike Dixon. I grew up uh, in Richmond, Virginia. My story is, you know, I began using drugs at an early age. At uh, 13 years old, I began smoking pot. Uh, by the four time I was 14, I had graduated on to cocaine, LSD, mushrooms. By the time I was 15, I was, um, I was selling anywhere from a quarter pound to a pound of pot a month. Um, you know, I didn't come from a broken home. I didn't grow up in a poor neighborhood. I, um, I was captain of the football team. I was honor roll student, perfect attendance. I've got two parents, still married. Um, but I, I thought I had everybody fooled, and I, and I realized now I was just fooling myself. Um, you know, I, I, I was living a very destructive lifestyle at an early age. I, um, the drug dealing and drug use went on through high school. Uh, just, you know, got more and more each year. Um, you know, I graduated from high school and, and went off to college where it just, it just multiplied. I um, started using cocaine more regularly. Uh, I had a friend that was dealing cocaine, so we had unlimited supplies. I was dealing lots of pot and um, had cash, so it was just not a good combination, you know, for, for us all just to be involved in that scene, but that's the way it was. And um, uh, my sophomore year of college, I was introduced to a guy that was bringing uh, large amounts of pot into into Virginia and I ended up starting heading up that kind of Richmond distribution thing and I uh, was had access to, to lots of cash lots of drugs and just not a good combination you know for, for us at the time we were just partying living out of hotel rooms staying up for days smoking rock cocaine um, you know th this whole scene went on all through college um, I graduated from college and I moved out to Colorado to try to get away from the whole dealing scene, the, the drug use and everything, and that lasted for about a day. The next thing I know, I'm flying drugs back and forth from Colorado to Virginia. Um, I lived out there for about a, uh, about seven or eight months, and I moved back to Richmond, and that's the time I met my wife. Uh, we had a similar group of friends, and we're going to the same parties, and you know, the, the drug dealing and drug use continued. Um, that time, uh, heroin was becoming popular in the area, and, and we started using heroin as well as the cocaine and the weed. And um, you know, we all, in a very short amount of time, we're all addicted to heroin as well as the other drugs. And that whole that whole scene went on for about a year and a half, about two years for me. And it went from just partying, using heroin, to having to use heroin pretty much daily just to function, to not be sick. And you know, I had friends OD, I had friends uh, friends get shot. Um, you know, all the while my, my wife was with me during those, those low points and in 1997 uh, something tragic happened and my older brother was shot and killed um, here in South Richmond and it was by two teenagers. It was a drug deal that went bad, um, shot in the head seven times and I always thought that was going to be me. You know, I had been shot at, I'd been in drug houses. I was always the one that was involved in that stuff and he just was in the wrong place at the wrong time. and. You know, you would think that would be a wake-up call, but it wasn't. I just dove deeper into the drugs, uh, deeper into heroin, deeper into cocaine, whatever I could get my hands on to, to numb the pain. Um, you know, th that, that went on for a little while, and, uh, you know, I, I was starting to lose my health. I weighed about 150 pounds. I was skinny as a rail. I couldn't eat. I uh, wasn't working. I was using more drugs than I was selling, so I was just scrambling, hustling. And my wife was with me the whole time, you know, she, there, there was a plan and she was there and I didn't know it at the time. But one day, one day God, God did a work in my life and I didn't even know it. You know, I, I started realizing that I can't live like that. I was sick and tired of being sick and tired. And I, uh, I started going to church with my wife. Um, I was able to get off the heroin. I was able to get off the cocaine. And not too long after that, we were married in 2000. Um, you know, it, we're getting ready to celebrate our 10-year anniversary. Um, not too long after we were married, we began uh, began attending the Richmond Outreach Center. Um, you know, not about five years ago, we started a bus ministry um, in Hillside Court. Now I get to mentor and, and teach teens and young people, you know, what it is to live for God. And uh, you know, God definitely had a plan. He had a plan for my wife being there through those low points and and had a plan for me starting that bus route with, with the help of Pastor Arson and Rick Brown, Pastor G. And um, that, that neighborhood that I serve and, and pick up these kids now is a, is a mile from where my brother was killed by a 16 year old and a 19 year old. Now I get to mentor to these kids and help them make the right choices in life. And you know, it, I'm just blessed. You know, I've been clean for over 10 years, been drug free. Uh, I have a wonderful wife, a beautiful church that I attend, a wonderful church family and friends, a great pastor, 
uh, you know, a nice car, home. And, and 15 years ago, you couldn't have paid me to believe that this would be the way my life is today. And I give all the honor and glory to my Lord and Savior. He did a work in my life. And I know I wasn't struck by lightning. It, it didn't happen overnight. But I know for, without a shadow of a doubt that he did a work and a slow progress. And I'm still growing. And I'm um, just hoping that I can influence and encourage other people to, to put their trust in, in Jesus Christ and get their life on track. If you're hurting or if you need help, just turn to God and let His will be done in your life. Imagine staying in this moment, staying in this moment forever, it's true.